while you can always record a set of conversational tracks separately and mix them later, it's often preferred to configure two microphones to record a set of speakers simultaneously. Audition is capable of this, of course, and we'll now examine how. So the first thing we're going to do is rename some of these tracks that we have. If we click on track one, we're going to name this music. This will contain our intro and outro music for our podcast. Track two we'll call speaker A. And then track three, speaker B. All right. Now, what we're going to do is actually map specific microphone inputs to both speaker A and speaker B. So notice here with our input output selected. So if you are on something else like effects, make sure to switch over to that. And you'll see that the input is the default stereo input right now. Usually when you're recording microphone, you're recording a monaural signal. So you don't have left and right. You only have a single channel of audio. So for instance, on speaker A, to switch over to mono, we're going to choose mono, and we can choose mic one or line one. For speaker B, we can choose our mono two, line two. I only have a single microphone hooked up to this machine right now. However, I am splitting it into two signals. So what we need to do is arm both of these for recording. And the way we do that is to simply hit R right there. And notice that we already get our signal being monitored here. And let's do this one too. So because both of these are really tapping into the same signal here, we're seeing them both occur, which is fine for this demo. And what we're going to do is go through and hit record. So now we can see speaker A and speaker B both recording at the same time. Let's stop it. So ideally what you would have is a microphone plugged into line one and a microphone plugged into line two. Now, of course, this does vary by your audio equipment. So you might have only a single microphone input or you may have 10 microphone inputs. Um, it's all up to your hardware, really. And if you recall from when we configured our hardware, this piece of hardware, I have two lines configured and we can see them right here. Now these are simultaneous, but of course, if you had two speakers, speaker A and speaker B, each with their own mic, each track would pick up very specific pieces of dialogue. Notice as well that these WAV files have been actually saved and added to our files panel. So if we go through and double click on speaker A or speaker B, we can see that they pop up inside of our editor. And at this point, we can go ahead and do all the sorts of edits that we were doing before. Now, if I go back to my podcast session, you can see that these are definitely different. 